Hello guys and thanks for joining me in this series of uh, web app tutorials. So if we look at our web app so far, it looks uh, quite good on uh, Safari, but if you look at the iPhone simulator where you should be testing your web apps, you will see that the menu looks quite far away, as in it would be hard to click on the menus, uh, the text is quite small, also you cannot you know, do things like that like zoom in and um, possibly uh, screw up the page that you're looking at and if we look at this on the iPad let's just see go to hardware and device and then uh, iPad it looks uh, alright but still it would be better if the menu was a bit bigger on the iPad basically the browser assumes that your web pages are supposed to be 980 pixels wide so what do we need to do in order to fix this uh, we need to use a meta tag uh, called viewport viewport now if you search this on google you'll get much more information about it but basically by adding this meta tag the viewports will tell the browser how the content should fit the device's screen and then inform the browser that the site is optimized for mobiles it would probably be clearer if i actually show you an example so if you go back to the index.html file here uh, and let's add a uh, meta tag Oops. viewport sorry not without an s and then here is where the magic happens so just uh, to demonstrate uh, viewports if I do something like um, type 600 there yeah. here I'm basically allowing the viewport to tell the browser that the site has been optimized uh, for a screen width of 600 so if I just refresh the iPad for example and see how that has affected the iPad page there you go it looks much better on the iPad I hope you agree but uh, if we go back to the iPhone even on the iPhone it looks much better but still we want it to be dynamic as in we want the page to fit in uh, the various browser size of the mobiles so a better solution would be actually to set the width to the width of the device there is a keyword we can use a keyword which is device hyphen width if we save that refresh this you see it's much better than iPhone actually even better than before um, it looks like a proper iPhone menu and if we look at the iPad and refresh even on the iPad it looks quite good by setting the width to the device width using the viewport meta the browser is informed of the width of the device before the page is loaded i.e. on the iPad I think the width is 768 megapixel oh no not megapixel pixel <laughs> sorry uh, so other things we can do here is to prevent the user from zooming in and out of the page yeah so it looks more like of a native app and if you're looking at the simulator and hold down the alt key alt key on the keyboard that's how you can test zooming in and zooming out so to stop that from happening simply add a comma and add another keyword so like here if we set the initial scale to 1 and set the maximum scale to 1 also that would be telling our browser that the maximum and minimum scale is equal to 1 as in it shouldn't go up or under that so if we try to zoom in and out doesn't work it's also a good idea to add the following so set that to now that would definitely prevent any users from being allowed to scale uh, the pages okay so now the menu we've created so far would look much nicer on a mobile uh, whether it's an iPad or an iPhone etc the width of the menu will automatically adjust to the screen width. Join me in the next tutorial.